Tonight, there's a second suspect in a gun smuggling scheme stretching from Oklahoma to Mexico. The Dallas area man is behind bars between the borders. Agents say he's connected to an elaborate plan involving gr drug cartels, and a former Oklahoma drug agent may have orchestrated the whole thing. Rusty Surrett has the new developments. Rusty? Well, agents have been hinting for some time now that more arrests were possible. Well, tonight, we know that a Dallas area man is behind bars for his alleged role in this plan to get high-powered rifles from the metro to Mexico. Court documents show Francisco Javier Reyes, a former agent with the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics, had plenty of help getting dozens of weapons from gun shops across Oklahoma to his downtown Oklahoma City apartment and then on the road to Mexico. From there, agents say the weapons were likely to go into the hands of dangerous drug cartels who've killed thousands in drug-related violence. But before those powerful guns ever made it to the border, ATF agents say the weapons ended up at a home in Louisville, Texas. That's the same home agents raided this week and arrested Gregorio Martinez Morales, a 35-year-old who investigators say played a significant role in the whole operation. According to published reports in Dallas, neighbors say Morales, a quiet man, lived in the home with his two children. During the raid, agents say they found weapons and cash. Morales, who has a lengthy criminal record in Denton County, Texas, is now in custody of federal agents on an immigration violation charge. A spokesman for U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement says Morales is being processed for deportation back to Mexico, but refused to release any more information regarding the arrest. Meanwhile, Reyes remains at his apartment under house arrest, waiting for his next court appearance. And that hearing is scheduled at the end of the month. A judge told Reyes that he is not allowed to leave the area and is currently being monitored by the feds. Amanda? All right, Rusty. And we have only scratched the surface on this case. The 33-page criminal complaint against Reyes reads more like an episode of CSI. You can take a look at it for yourself at news9.com slash links.